Hey y'all, I am Luna Ray, the Gorgeous Oracle, and I'm here to do your April reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, North Node, or if you're cross-watching for a Pisces. Before I get into the reading, can you please like, share, and subscribe to my channel? Can you follow me on Instagram at I am underscore Justina Nicole? Everything will be down in the description box below this reading. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? For the month of April. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces for the month of April? Pisces, I have the world card, the hermit, the will of fortune, the two of swords, judgment, the tower, and the seven of wands, period, point blank. I feel like your life is going to change in the month of April. A Virgo could have something to do with this change. However, um... Pisces, I just feel like you just want something new. Or you could miss somebody. Pisces, you could miss a Virgo, but it don't have to be. In the month of April, I feel like you want to repair a friendship. You want to repair a relationship. Another message I'm getting um, in the month of April, you're going to do some like soul searching or you're going to be focusing more on yourself, being to yourself, being alone, knowledge, wisdom, I heard courage. I feel like you could be researching stuff online. Whatever you're doing by yourself, this um, solitude, being by yourself, some enlightenment, something that you're getting from online or from a Virgo, that's going to bring you some, that's going to bring you good luck. I ain't even going to lie to you. Whatever you uh, want to pursue or whatever you want to um, study, learn, research, that's going to bring you good luck and abundance. Another message I'm getting, you could be breaking up with somebody. You could be telling them that, you know, I think we better off as friends or something. And this person going to say, you know what? I'm sorry. Like, you know, I don't want to break up. Forgive me. We can work on this. I feel like you you don't want to work on this with this person. And it's, it's going to cause a tire moment. Another message I'm getting. You have to go in the darkness. In order to get to the light. So what I mean by that is. Whatever you're going. You could be in like a dark time right now. But all this is meant. To happen. To mold you to be a better person. It's like light at the end of the tunnel. But you have to go in the tunnel first. Um, what I mean by that is it's something that's going to be revealed about yourself that you need to work on. And that's going to cause a tire moment for you. You could be going through like some type of awakening too. Because you have five major arcanas out here in this reading. 
It's like whatever this is, you could be in a dark place in your time in this time. You could be in a very dark place or you're not happy or something like that. But just know all this is like a, a blessing in disguise. This is like a blessing in disguise. Tough times don't last forever. All this is like orchestrated. It was meant. Whatever you're going through, uh, Pisces, it was meant to happen. I do feel like you want to find something out. And whatever you find out, it's going to bring you good news. Are you going to be happy about this information you find out? Or it's going to motivate you to like want to change or want something new, want something better in your life. You want to find something out or somebody's going to tell you something, some type of surprise. Whatever you find out in April, I'm about to say in May, you could find it out in April. I mean, in May, April or May, one of them shit. I feel like you're going to find something out in April and May. Or you're going to find it out in April and you want to see the results or whatever you've been studying, searching. It's going to, that shit going to happen in May. I do have tourists out here. It's on the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I feel like it's something online, Pisces, that you're doing, listening to. You could be a teacher. You could be a tarot reader yourself. You could be watching, if this not you, I mean, you could be watching some type of, you could be on YouTube or some shit watching videos. But whatever you're watching on YouTube... It's for like self-improvement on how to better yourself and your relationships. It's some shit like that. And by you listening to this and taking heed into it, listening to what these people are saying or these videos, what you're seeing online, Google, YouTube, whatever, you're going to take heed into it. And it's going to bring you some type of abundance. Hmm. Whatever you see online, I feel like it was confirmation. Confirmation about what somebody did to you. Another message I'm getting, Pisces, you could be going out, hanging out with your friends to, like, take your mind off of this heartbreak or this some type of betrayal or third-party situation. Another message I'm getting, you could have found out your partner uh, messed over you with three women or three men. I'm going to say between three to six people. Your person fucked over you. Or if it's not three to six people, it's between three to six times this person like fucked over you. You could be finding that out in April. But whatever this person did... I feel like you're going to channel that energy into like something positive. Like something positive is going to come out of this, this heartbreak. Another message I'm getting, it was meant for you to go through this heartbreak to, um, as crazy as this sounds, it was meant for you to experience this type of heartbreak in particular. Because this is supposed to like mold you into becoming like a better version of you. 
your best self. This, uh, this could be some type of lesson, life lesson that you have to learn or an experience. So it can mold you to become a better person, a better woman, a better man, a better mother, a better father. Another message I'm getting, I feel like your kids are going to be happy for you. When you get rid of this person, they're going to be happy. Another message I'm getting, you're, I feel like your children don't really care for um, the person that you're with. Or they don't like the person that you're with. And when y'all separate, it's actually going to be a celebration for your kids. Because they don't like this person. If you have children, <laughs> that's not going to resonate for everybody, but somebody's kids are going to be so happy that um, their mom or dad broke up with this uh, person. I feel like the kids are going to be so happy to where they're going to go to school and talk to their friends about it. Like, yes, my mom got rid of that scumbag. My dad got rid of that bum. Yes. It's like. <laughs> and some kids going to be happy as fuck when y'all break up, bro. <laughs> um. Pisces. I feel like you're stressed out right now. I feel like it's this, it's this relationship stressing you out. When it comes to your business, what you do for work and shit, I feel like you good in that department. But this relationship, I feel like you're tired, you're over it. Exhausting. Y'all better off as friends. This person, another message I'm getting, this person was actually holding you back. Another message I'm getting, that's what I'm saying. All this was orchestrated. You have too many major arcanas out here. Um, Pisces, you could have been much further in life without this person. And I feel like spirit, um, I'm not going to say spirit is upset with you. But spirit knows that you could have been like way further in life without this person or they spirit already knew like this person was holding you back and spirit was waiting on you to like make a move and like cut this person out, but you didn't. So spirit orchestrated this way for you to see that really this person is full of shit or um they were holding you back you're gonna find out like or things are gonna make sense why things happened the way it did it's gonna click to you like you know what this wasn't my lover this is somebody that actually held me back this person didn't um help me grow i had to do that shit on my own this person don't contribute to nothing that i do or it's some um aha moment you're gonna have yeah, I feel like um this relationship is over. You're gonna break up with a person, or they're gonna break up with you, and somebody gonna want forgiveness, and somebody gonna like plead, like, nah, we can work things out and all this and that. But uh, I don't see y'all working things out. I have the death card out here. I mean it could be a Scorpio, but another message I'm getting. One of the reasons why you held on or you still stayed in this relationship because you thought about all the good times y'all had in the past. But that shit is dead and gone. That happened in the past. I feel like this person is a hot ass mess now. And whatever you think about of how this person used to be in the past, that will never you can never relive that ever again. You can't relive it because you can't go back in the past. And then on top of that, this person, it's like they true colors are shown and that's how they really are and you think about damn we had fun in the past like we used to we had fun we used to turn up and go out together and i enjoy being around their friends and all this and that it would never get back like this again not trying to be mean or nothing but i'm just 
these i'm just uh <laughs> the cards i'm just telling you what the cards are telling me yeah this person fucked over you this person fucked over you then on top of that i feel like this person was fucking with all types of different people um it was like somebody was in a relationship, but they were still living like they were single and still like doing what they want to do, what they please, and inconsistent in and out. I feel like even with y'all being together, this person was inconsistent with you too. Because somebody felt like they were single. They can do whatever the fuck they want to do. And they didn't care who got hurt in the process. And Pisces, by you being the main chick or the main dude, this person still didn't, like, care about your feelings or nothing either. They were still doing them. Fucking with different hoes, fucking with different people and all types of stuff. And it's like now you're realizing, like, I've been with a person that really didn't um, care for me like that. Or they kept fucking over me and I just tried my best. You know, to keep it, keep everything together and all types of shit. I feel like now it's going to make sense, like, why you have to let this person go. Another message, another message I'm getting, you're going to accept that you have to be independent and single. It's okay to be independent and single. Another message I'm getting, I feel like you look down on uh, people that were independent and single. You looked at it as a bad thing, but I feel like it's a Virgo that you um admire or look up to but it don't have to be you see this person is single and like doing the damn thing for themselves and you like you know what being single and just being by myself with my kids if you have kids there's nothing wrong with that that's another message i'm getting but thank you bye bye